Never used before. Okay, here's 10 rounds of 124 grain going through the lab radar. Okay, you're looking at the uh, LCD, eyes and ears, and here we go. The crony says uh, 1036, this says 1057. Crony says 1040, this says 1064. Crony says 1038, this says 1060. Crony says error, this says 1071. Error again, 1069. 1058, 1072. Error, 1076. 1049, 1064. 1072, 1088. 1046, 1064. All right, this, if you look at the LCD, it says that at 30 feet, it's uh, 1,045 average. At, um, at 60 feet, it's 1028. At 90 feet, 1018. At 120 feet, it's 1019. And 150 feet, it's um, 1002. This will go all the way out to 100 yards following the bullet. Isn't that amazing? All right, we're on string three now, testing this new lab radar. You can see that there's no velocity, no shots. I'm gonna shoot 10 fairly fast, and just to see if it can pick up each shot. I'll do about two seconds per, okay? As you can see, it picked up 
nine of those ten shots. There might have only been nine in. Actually, there was only nine in. So anyway, it picked up all nine shots. I have an average of 1034 at 30 feet. Um, that's 10 yards. At 10 feet, it was at 1061 uh, on the last shot. It won't show me the average of that unless I set it up to show me that, and I didn't. So the average at 30 feet uh, is 1,034. The average at 60 feet is 1,016. The average at 90 feet was 994. The average at 120 was 190, or excuse me, 94, 954. And the average at 150 feet was 931. So anyway, this thing works awesome. I highly recommend the Lab Radar. Back up just a little bit so you can see the unit. It's on the table. I just shot right next to it. And of course you have the old-fashioned crony that does absolutely nothing for you now. The last time we did 10 strings, four were errors. So it only gave us 60% average, where the Labrador gave us 100% accuracy. And I love it.